shit shoot out. It's hit and miss. Hey, let me make this shit perfectly clear for Detroit. A lot of pussies want to murder me here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what's up? Yo, 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 what's goody with it? CPA Strength back again with another mini freaking video. Strongest CPA in the game, you know what it is. I'm at the gym in the gym parking lot. This is a video to mind your own fucking business while you're at the goddamn fucking gym, okay? Now, this is uh, exactly 24 hours than this uh, occurrence happened. I had a horrible day last yesterday. I had a horrible day. All I wanted to do was rip somebody's head off. So, I say, hey, man, all this rage and aggression you have inside of you is not healthy. Okay. So, I go to the gym to let it out. Um... Uh, yeah, so I, 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 I try to like, I try to not be like too aggressive because I am in a commercial gym. Um, I was singing like a Jelly Roll song, like, oh, uh, you know, all they, all y'all do is, 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 is talk about drugs and rims. Like it wasn't about like killing nobody or this and that. Anyways, I mean, I'm sweating. I'm in the middle of my set. I mean, I, I, I'm going to town. I'm feeling a little bit better. He's like, mm, mm, mm. I thought he, uh, he goes, hey, man, you're killing me. I'm like, what? What? Because now half the time when someone goes like this, they want to go, oh, man, you're so strong. You're so motivating. And then the other time, other half, they go, could you be quiet, please? You're scaring me. And this little fuck bitch, this little fuck boy was like, oh, you're killing me. You're like singing, man. You're, can you stop, please? I mean, I, I, I wanted to just, uh, I wanted to rip his goddamn head off. I'm trying to control myself. Anyways, I just ran out of there. Uh, coincidentally, I'm here at the same gym the same exact time. I would like to say that I'm above this pettiness, but I'm not quite yet. I'm going to go and I'm going to fucking lurk behind this motherfucker and make his life a living fucking hell. Yo, 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 yo. CPA Strength back at it again, fresh out the gym. Not sure how much I'm going to leave into the last clip because I was far too angry for this positive channel. There's, I've erased probably, I probably have about 200 videos off my channel. I've erased, I've had them, I had them rendered, uploaded, and I've erased probably about 15 of them recently, or not recently, but over the past little bit because I'm a chronic negative person, but I'm trying to just like, why do I want to put negativity out for the world to have that be my legacy? Like, I mean, I, I gotta talk about it sometimes because it's a big part, but anyways. <sighs> Guy said I was singing too loud yesterday at the gym. Okay. Now, I just basically ran out of there yesterday because I didn't know what else to do. It was either that or like uh, choke him. Like, just, just, just kill them. Um, so that's why you should mind your own business. Don't mess with somebody in the zone at the gym with the headphones because you don't know what kind of psychopath you're dealing with and you don't know what kind of day they're having. Mind you, I went in here today at the same time, hopefully to see him, and when I would see him, I would I would just follow him. I would just follow him around the gym and mean mug him, and that's what I was gonna do. Uh, I was gonna sing a little bit. I wasn't gonna, you know, I wasn't gonna. I was just gonna make him feel uncomfortable. Like I wanted him to know that I wanted to kill him, and that was pleasurable. That that's pleasurable for me to instill fear into somebody. Um, or I think it is, but it, it's really not. Cause I, I just yelled at somebody at the top of my lungs yesterday and I felt absolutely horrible for it. 
Um, anyways, I was gonna go there. I, I saw him. So I'm gonna make his life hell today. And every other time I see him, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna whisper, oh, is this too loud, pussy boy? Oh, you don't like my singing, pussy boy? And just fuck with him, just fuck with him. You know, make him move gyms. <laughs> uh, then, then I thought, is that him? Like, I was staring at him, I got super close to him, I saw him, I immediately moved to the, uh, the machine next to him, and then I was just staring at him. But he wasn't looking at me like he didn't know me, or I was like, maybe that's not him. Like, there's a chance that it's not him, and then, I mean, even if it is, why, why can't I just move on? Why am I letting this asshole take me out of my zone? Because he's, he's some type of bitch ass boy who don't want no singing. Um, that reminded me of probably about 2003. I went to the Gorge in Washington State to see Ted Nugent with uh, two of my friends, two of my really good friends. Um, Uncle Trev and Cindy. <laughs> Call him Uncle Trev because I worked with him. He was about 10 years older than me. Just a really smart, just awesome guy. Uncle Trev, if you're watching this, bro, it's me. <laughs> it's JD. <laughs> Holler at your boy, dog. <laughs> we done made it. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I know, bro. I, can't, I know, bro. Yeah, man, I'm here. So... That's so when I was working uh, at Crosstown Moving. Coincidentally, Crosstown Moving, I flipped out on my boss and quit and burned a bridge because of my uh, temper. I I hold it all in and then I boil over and I just go crazy and I and I can't I don't know what I'm doing and I and it's just weird. So, anyways, went to the Ted Nugent concert. I had rolled up a couple joints, but. I had to roll them up in the car or something. I don't know. I rolled them up too tight, so they weren't they weren't smoking. Um, I saw someone with a bowl in front of me. Someone was smoking a bowl in front of me, so I was like, "Hey!" Um, but they put it away, so I was like, I tapped on this guy's shoulder. I was like, "Hey, give me that bowl." So my joints went work. He goes, "I don't I don't have it," and I was like, "I fucking saw you, piece of shit! Why you fucking do that to me? I'm gonna kill you!" Like I was just too much, you know, like so aggro and then I, I I finally got my joint to light and I was just blowing the clouds of smoke like right in his face just like oh I was just telling him I was gonna kill him and just oh just just oh and after the concert Uncle Trump's wife Cindy said John what's wrong with you man I said oh she said, that guy didn't even have a pipe. It wasn't even him. I'm like, oh. So, I mean. I just like, I, uh, I'm going to kill somebody and they didn't even do anything. It wasn't even them. And so what if they don't want to give me a pipe, okay? Anyways. I just thought today, like. Why do you gotta mess with that guy? That might that guy might not even be the guy who told you he doesn't like your singing. It might not be him. I even mean, if it is, leave him alone. Move on. Why do I let him out of my you know get me out of my zone? Let me do my thing. So yeah, mistaken identity. At 40, I'm getting a little older. That was at 26. I, I was just I'm all up in people's stuff, man. So, I'm learning. Um, the accounting is coming. It's, I, I have to, you know, I, ha I need my whiteboard and I need to be there at a certain time and everything has to be perfect. And I know I'm making excuses right now. But I know by the views and the likes, and I mean, that's what I'm about is the accounting. I want to get back to the accounting. 
I promise in a few weeks, I am gonna give you way more accounting. I'm gonna finish up to 100 in a couple weeks. I promise, I promise, I'm gonna knock them out. As you saw before, for like a, uh, about a month, about a month and a half, about six weeks, you know, or two months, I did three to five accounting videos a week, and I'm gonna get back to that. I just, my personal life is shambles right now. And uh, to make a good accounting video, everything has to be correct, and there has to be no neighbors at my office. And it's like, everyone's on top of me. And I mean, and that's, you know, that's another thing about like, I just fly off when people tell me I'm too loud or you can't say that or you can't say this because there's nowhere except for in my car that I can just be who I want to be. Everywhere I'm at, they say, if you don't be like everybody else, you're too loud. You're singing too loud. You're too loud. You're too aggressive. You're too this. You're too that. You know, that's now. Uh... Before, I wouldn't say anything, um, you're stupid, you're fat, you're so dumb. You know, you're a pig, you're a mess, you're a slob. Uh, that was my home life, school, you're fat, you're poor, you're ugly, you're a piece of shit, blah, da, da. Now in my adult life, it's like, anytime I have any kind of I mean, I'm six foot three, 270 pounds. I'm sorry I'm big. I'm sorry I'm loud if I get loud. I'm sorry. But dude, I can't, I can't ever be loud except in my car. That's why I get up at three. That's why I work so hard. I've been kicked out of probably 30 places in my life, like, I don't know, jobs, houses, establishments. It's just a common theme. Get out. Um, you know, that's a common theme in my life. And as you see, I'm all alone. Someone said, well, don't you have friends to hang out with? Not really. I do have a couple select friends that, never, that, that have never fucked me over and never gave up on me. And no matter how fucked up I was, they never told me to get out of their life, which I cannot repay you long enough, and you know who you are, and you're coming with me. But for everybody else, that's why I feel, that's only like five people out of thousands. Everybody else just says the hell with me and throws me away. Like I'm some disposable good. Anyways, uh, don't fuck with people at the gym. Mind your own fucking business. Number two, if someone doesn't mind their own fucking business, try to forget about them. Don't let somebody else take you out, take you out of your zone. That's my big problem. Anyways, I'm sweating, but this is the only place that CPA Strength JD Blaze, Chef Boy RJD, and me baby can talk in peace. So until next time, deuces.